This is the combination that I came up with for that RCA meter, and it's okay for that meter. But a YouTuber, user 2718218, pointed out to me that there's going to be a different voltage drop across some of those capacitors, and he's right. I had totally forgotten about that, so I've set up on my workbench those three capacitors across the ends of those three capacitors in series is a signal generator at 4000 Hertz. It just shows up easier on the scope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the scope across each capacitor so you can see what that YouTuber is talking about. Okay, now I'm going to put the scope across the largest capacitor. Now I'm going to put the scope on the center capacitor. And now I'm moving the scope over to the last capacitor at the end. And you can clearly see that there is a difference in voltage drops across those capacitors. So what is the solution? Well, I'm going to stick with three capacitors. I don't want to change things very much. And I'm also going to stay with 630 working volts. What we need is three capacitors all the same. In other words, the same capacitance for each capacitor at 630 volts. Well, I worked this formula backwards and found out that dot 3 was pretty good. However, um, dot 3 threes are readily available, easy to get. So I plugged that into the formula and we ended up with 0 0.11 microfarads. So the solution or I should say the best solution for this particular problem is three capacitors in series at 630 working volts with a capacitance of dot 33 microfarads.